Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of The Plant Isles. In this series, I explore every single plant in a different section at a local nursery. I've already discovered the philodendron section, pet friendly, and the Hoya section. Feel free to check out those videos. Today, we're exploring pothos. Let's go. I felt like it was only right to begin at the golden pothos or the devil's ivy. This is probably one of the most popular variety of pothos that's around, although there are many different varieties. Um, funny enough, this one, the golden pothos, was the first kind of poth pothos I ever had and actually got it as a cutting from a friend. Sadly, it lost a lot of its uh, gold flex and gold variegation, uh, which needs sunlight to um, initiate. Anyway, it's moving on. We have the Manjula pothos. This one has been catching my eye lately. So this one's $19.99. And I really like that its leaves are a bit different than the heart-shaped pothos leaves. They're a bit wider. And I really like the white variegation. I, I, I love white variegation. And I think I might pick up one of these, but I can't seem to find one that's really catching my eye. Like, I like, I'm very selective on the pot that I go with. And this nursery also has a 20% off sale coming up in January. Let's see this one. I don't know. No, I think I'm just going to wait for the sale and hopefully uh, they will have a new um batch coming in like a new shipment and maybe they'll have some more to explore okay so let's keep going this is a jade pothos this one is ten dollars and this one i believe has no variegation and if you have low light conditions this one would be a great option because you need light to trigger the variegation so this one would be easy going and this one is a gigantium epiprenum so this one is a little bit more it's thirty dollars but if you can see this one is a little different than your average pothos it has more of that white variegation and like very tiny flecks of green in them and the leaves are definitely way more narrow and way slimmer and i imagine it would probably grow a lot slower because with all of that variegation there's not a lot of green to photosynthesize and also uh, not a lot of leaf space for for light to be absorbed but so I can see why it's, you know, a little bit pricey, but it is so pretty. I can see myself picking up one of those eventually because I really like the leaf shape. It's really nice. How's the video going? Going good? Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like the video so far and give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's keep going. So here we have the Pearls and Jade Pothos. This one has like the leaves aren't perfectly flat. The leaves on this one tend to sort of change their like the the shape. They sort of have like curves inside of the leaves itself. So this one's really nice. And all of Pothos, most of them they fine. I believe all of them, yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This one is uh marble queen pothos i used to have a beautiful one of these like long and cascading but yeah i messed that up <laughs> as if you can mess up pothos but anyways i have it's um propagating and it's growing again and i hope that i can get it the way it used to be what's nice about marble queen pothos is that it's very easy going it's very easy to trigger that variegation you don't need like a lot of very bright light i have a small one growing in a north facing window and the variegation is still coming on so um i definitely would pick that one up if you want some variegation but you also want um you don't have a lot of light and next we have one of my favorite pothos this one is if i can get it out it's a neon pothos so i actually have both of these both the neon and the marble queen and this neon pothos is 9.99 it's usually inexpensive 
And as you can see, this pothos is way more accessible compared to like, for example, the variegated giganteums over there. Uh, not very many to choose from. A, a lot, but still not as many as the neon pothos. But it's a great way to add color to your collection. And it has such a unique color to it. I really, really love this color. And it just helps to brighten a space really nicely. Hi, Peace Lilies. Right, so there are just so many to choose from and these bigger pots are $20. Again, this video isn't sponsored, but it just gives you an idea as to what these plants cost. Okay, here, so we have bigger pots of the Marble Queen Pothos. These are 18, like $17.99. And um, it, you might not even need to start with a pot that big. These plants actually propagate so easily. So even if you started with a smaller pot, you could probably propagate and fill up your pot. And here we have bigger pots of the golden pothos. These are also 18. This is like a really full basket though. Like this is beautiful. Okay, let's see what else there is to, to find in the pothos section. Back here, we have a lemon merengue pothos for $30. That's a pretty full basket. And uh, it's so pretty because it has like a little bit of that lemon color, like the neon pothos, but then a little bit of cream as well, a little bit of green. Very, very pretty. And let's take a look at what's on the sh top shelf. So there's more lemon merengue. That one's not as big as the one down below, but the same price. And so these would need a little bit more variegation, sorry, a little bit more light to maintain their variegation. And over here is a full Baltic blue pothos. This one is, I think I saw $24.99. And wow, look at this. And this one can also fenestrate. I mean, look at this leaf there. Can you see? Yep, it can get slits in the leaves. And usually for pothos, they have to get really mature and climb up posts. But with the Baltic blue, it seems like, like you don't even need to have it run up something. Once they mature, they're going to start to fenestrate. And here we have the long, sharp, pointy leaves of the Cebu blue pothos. These also um, fenestrate as they grow upwards up a moss pole. And I remember... They probably still are like really sought after and a bit, you know, pricier. And um, they're really pretty because they have like a, a, a bluish tint to their leaves that you probably would see better in person um, rather than on camera. So that's what they have up here. And look at this one. Oh, it has a little fenestration there. That's so pretty. And new leaves are so glossy and beautiful. And yeah, I believe these are Cebu, Cebu Blue Pothos. It's a really full basket, but wow. Yeah, this Baltic Blue looks really nice. That's a really full basket. Very nice. It's one you don't see around as often. Let me know in the comment section which one of these Pothos varieties you already have and which ones you'd love to take home with you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel that are up on the screen. Thanks for watching. See you next time.